how to verify your domain ownership on YouTube. Now, the reason you want to do this is because if you're adding links, you know, a lot of people are posting videos on YouTube and they add affiliate links under the videos or, you know, on the video descriptions or even, uh, well, you won't be able to put affiliate links into the video. But if you verify your domain ownership, you can then add your domain into your videos. Okay, I will show you later in another, vi in another video how you're going to do that. But before you can do that, you need to verify uh, your domain ownership. Now, to do this, log in into your YouTube account, and then you go to Video Manager. Then you go to Channel. And then you scroll down and you click where it says Advanced. Then you scroll down here, and now we're going to enter the domain here. So mine will be Marketing Video DIY. Com and since it's my zone secure server so I'm gonna add the S to it but if you don't have a SSL then you just use the normal HTTP okay click add and now we need to click verify okay so at this point all we need to do now here is you go to alternate methods and you're gonna choose the HTML file upload you're gonna download this file now before you save it, I'll go select desktop, okay, and click save. So there you go. This is a very small file. So let's go back here to the desktop. Let's right click, create new folder. And I'm going to call it Google Code. Now you don't need to save this uh, file forever because Google sometimes changes and asks you to verify your domain again from time to time. Uh, just in case you change the domain and you forgot to uh, update the domain that is associated with your YouTube account so they do ask you uh, time to time to change it so it's no point saving so once you use it you can just throw it away now we're gonna put it here and we're gonna go to the next step because now we need to upload this code into our root server before we go back to YouTube and verify the domain so let's open a new tab here and uh, let's go to basically to my website so if you're hosting it as all you need to do we keep forgetting about this but this is all you do you do forward slash cpanel press end so now let's log in Now, as you log into cPanel, all you need to do is scroll down to, to Files. Okay, so you go to Files, File Manager. Then you're going to select Show All Hidden Files, so make sure you tick that box. And we're going to go straight to the home directory. We can also go to Document Root. Now, if you're using on a, a different domain that is uh, different from your main domain where your cPanel is installed, then you can you know select other domains if you have them here so obviously you can have more than one account on youtube and you may have different accounts for different uh, domains okay so let's click go and the next step is making sure i'm under the public underscore html so click once it opens and then we're going to click upload now once you click upload there is a few ways to do this okay i'm just going to minimize the window as you see and I'm going to open my folder here, move it to the side, okay, select the file, click and hold, drag and drop. So as you see, as I drop it, the button kind of changes. So this is a very small file, like I said, it's going to upload very quick. Okay, say yes. And the file is now uploaded. So now we're going to go back to YouTube to this page I'm just gonna refresh and here okay we're gonna click refresh it's not the it. so I'm gonna right click open in a new tab back here click verify okay it's done as you can see 
I'll go back to YouTube. Let's refresh the page again. And it's refresh. And there it goes. To my name is now verified. And I can now add my to my name to the videos, which I will show in another video. So once again, I'm Zen Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.